Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, April 23rd, and it is a cool, rainy morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Rain yesterday as well, rain on the weekends. It's an April tradition here in uh, southeastern PA. I am enjoying my, uh, this is Cane Rod Pipes number one, I think. Uh, yeah, number one. Uh, the other one's number zero. <laughs> Demi Lovat uh, is what I've been calling this because it was a mistake and it's too short to be a Lovat and the stem is too short to be a billiard. Smoking Haunted Bookshop and uh, morning is off to a wonderful start. Got a, got a lot of chore type things done already and I'm looking forward to relaxing a bit today. I wound up working a lot yesterday. I just... I got up in the morning, I had an idea for something I've been working on at work, my day job, and uh, I said, let me just take a few minutes to fool around with that. And before I knew it, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. So, such is life. But today, I'm forbidding myself from touching the laptop, and uh, we'll see how the day goes. Anyway, I've uh, been thinking a lot Probably going to lose some friends over this video. I hope not. Uh, yeah, as you saw from the bumper, um, uh, I was I I had my annual, what the heck are you people thinking when you talk about this Earth Day thing moment? I just find the whole the whole environmental movement to be rather silly in in their approach, not in their intent. Uh, I think it's a perfectly reasonable thing for us to want to maintain and and be stewards of, of the planet. That 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 makes perfect sense to me. But let's do it in a logical manner. Let's think about the actual impact of our actions. And uh, let's be consistent. You know, logical consistency to me is one of the most important things because your world is the world that you perceive and if you are not logical in your interpretations of that world if you don't think about what's happening out there you're living a lie and if you start to tell other people that it's true you're you're forcing other people to live a lie which is really a terrible thing to do you're denying them their reality so logical approaches are important to me And that doesn't mean you have to walk around being a, a Mr. Spock as you go through life. It just means you have to think a little bit. So Earth Day, got to save the planet, got to save the planet. Okay. Why do we have to save the planet? So it'll be there for our children and our children's children. Anytime the word children comes up, it makes me think, okay, there's a problem here. Because it's it's like the the default emotional place to go. My neighbor wanted to cut down a tree on our property line. The tree was fine. It had some dead branches. I mean it was it was probably going to be dead within the next twenty years, but the tree was probably forty, fifty years old and it had life left in it and I figured, you know, leave it alone. Well, we got to cut it down. Why do we have to cut it down? Because there's a school over there and the children walk past it every morning and it would be terrible if it fell on the children. You're, you're an idiot. You know, the tree's not going to fall on the children. We've got to protect the children. Okay. So I'm, I'm all for protecting children, by the way. I love children. I think they're they're wonderful. They're they're uh, the future. They're they're God's gift to us. They're you know children should be protected. Don't get me wrong. But let's be reasonable. You know let's not let's not create problems that aren't there. And let's be logical. Let's be consistent. So yes, we'll protect children. We'll protect them from the moment of conception. Right? And, oh, oh wait wait wait. Okay. Well, where where are you going to draw that line? 
Well, I'm gonna draw it here. Well, that's just arbitrary. You just decided on that. What's the logic behind it? Well, I don't have any logic, but it's convenient. It's not quite okay. We're, we're gonna protect them. Yeah, we're gonna protect them in schools. Of course. Yeah. So we will have armed guards in the schools. Hey, that, no, no, no. Okay. And in terms of what they're taught, you know, we only want them to be taught factual things. We want them to be taught science and math and and literature and, and but but we want it to be fact based. Yes, yes. So the, the we're not going to teach that creationist stuff. No, of course not. I, I don't want creation. Creationism is is faith. I don't want that taught in school. You teach that to your children yourself, or you send them to a, a, a school that's faith based and, and let them learn that way. But no, publicly funded education. We we shouldn't be teaching faith. Okay, we agree on something, right? So we're going to teach them nothing but factual things. So we're not going to teach them anything that, that distorts history. So there won't be any critical race theory. We won't be teaching them uh, any of this gender identity nonsense. We're not going to be worrying about uh, teaching them that you know, that it's okay for women to have mustaches and men to have babies, right? Because that's not factual. Hey, we don't want to bias our children. You don't want to protect children. You want to create an emotional response in people so they are afraid to disagree with you. That's what you want to do. You're using a very poor tactic in terms of arguing. But all right, let, let's, let's set that aside. Let's let's just agree that we're going to save the planet, regardless of why. We, we, we're going. To, it's a good thing to do. I can't disagree with that. How are we going to save it? Well, we're not going to use plastic bags anymore. Really? What's that going to do? We're going to protect the oceans. Going to protect the oceans and save the sea turtles. Why are we putting plastic bags in the ocean? Well, we, that's how we throw them away. No, it's not. Not in this country. Well, there's plastic bags in the ocean. Yeah, but they're not coming from here. They're not coming from you. You carrying your stupid reusable grocery bag to the grocery store is doing absolutely nothing for the planet. Because we got that under control. You want to you want to fix that problem? You got to go outside of the United States and find the people that are actually putting the plastic bags in the ocean and, and help them out. Well, we got to you know clean energy. Oh great! Well, let's build more nuclear reactors. Oh dear God, no! Why not? Fukushima. Yeah, and how many years of nothing? Chernobyl. Yeah, and how many years of nothing? Let's make them better. Let's build fusion reactors. Oh, it's nuclear power. We can't do that. Not logical. You don't want to save the planet. You want to force your agenda. You want to get people to fall lockstep behind you. You want to feel good about yourself. That's what you want to do. Drive an electric car. Have, have you looked at the environmental impact of lithium mining? No. Not to mention the fact that the things burn with the heat hotter than the sun. Speaking of the sun, it's going to eventually go red dwarf and engulf the earth. Can't save the planet. Now granted, it's going to be about five billion years, but it will happen. So how are you going to save us from that event? That's ah, five billion years. Yeah, but you're worried about our children's children, so why shouldn't you worry about however many generations that is? What about all the things that are going to end us before that happens? Uh, there's so many things. What, what about the next pandemic event from a, a, a lab release that, that wipes out? humanity and the only way to save humanity is to get people off of this planet what are you going to do then you don't want to save the planet you want to save the people you want to save mankind in all honesty 
what happened a few days ago with the launch of uh, of the Starship, the Elon Musk Starship, I think is one of the greatest steps in terms of saving mankind. Because we we know this planet is a disposable resource. Oh God, I just shocked people. It's a disposable resource. It is eventually going to not be here or not be a sustainable or viable place to live. And for many reasons that would happen whether we were here or not. And for many reasons we will cause it. Don't get me wrong, but we can't fix it. We can't prevent it from ever happening. We gotta find other places to live. And that Starship launch was a, was a great achievement, you know? It's, and it's funny how, the, eh, just to go back to my argument with myself, you know, you can't, you can't appreciate that because it was Elon Musk. Well, why not? It was a great achievement. It was, it was an amazing thing. No, 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 he's bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> we won't go down that road. Most vilified African-American entrepreneur in history. No, I just made some people's heads explode. Now, I don't think those people are listening to me. Anyway, or if they were listening to me, they stopped by now. But yeah, let's, let's find other places to live. Let's stop worrying about plastic bags and paper straws and coal versus nuclear and wind farms that are killing birds at an alarming rate. Let's just get go and find someplace else. So Earth Day should be changed to Mankind Day, Humanity Day, whatever, however you want to think about it. We got to focus on the wrong thing, and that leads to very poor prioritization of resource. I normally reserve these sorts of things for my Wednesday uh, videos, but I haven't made a Wednesday video in quite a long time, so you get it today. I hope you don't mind. Ah. Uh, Boy, I do enjoy my bookshop. Anyway, what does today hold? So, I'm going to try to take it easy today. Uh, not think about my day job at all. And probably going to go do some shopping with the wife. Uh, hopefully not turn that into an all-day event. We might go out for breakfast. With my wife, you don't go out for breakfast. You go out for brunch because she doesn't get moving early enough to get out the door in time to have breakfast. So. And we call it brunch, but it's basically lunch where you're eating breakfast food. That's a whole other kettle of fish that we're not going to get into. Doing some STEM work. I might work on this a little bit this morning. Um, I don't know if you, if, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know this. I was working on, I had, I think, nine stems all together. I was making a, a batch of cob stems. And uh, a good friend asked me to make um, a couple of purple cob stems for them. And it turns out to be, well, I, I apparently had some purple rod stock. I don't know where I got it from, or, or, but I had some. So I made a bunch of purple blanks, and then I had some other stuff. I made uh, uh, an amber one and a green one. And I started with the purple ones because I wanted to get these to, to the guy and one by one these things were just not working out I thought I was I was sanding through the airway because uh, it was out of practice but it happened so many times in a row that I, I went and I made the stem much thicker than I normally would and then I just kind of probed on it and the darn acrylic was was just breaking apart around the airway it was not it was crumbling. So it, for whatever reason, you can get it to a certain 
thickness and then it just falls apart. So I don't know where I got this stuff, but it was not a good batch. I don't think it came from some place like Vermont Freehand. I don't think it was originally uh, sold for pipe making. So that's probably why it happened. Anyway, never fear. I will just go buy some purple acrylic from a reputable source and, and make a couple of stems for my friend. And you know, I couldn't find any. I could find blues, but not purple. And he specifically wanted purple. So I wound up getting some of this stuff. I'll show you the big rod. This is um, this resin material that uh, Chris Kelly of Eldritch Pipes is making, or has been making. And uh, I don't know if that color is showing up. It looks blue on my monitor. Let me see on the computer screen. Yeah, it looks more blue. It's actually quite purpley. Uh, it's interesting how different that is. This looks very similar to my shirt, but I wonder if... Now I'm just playing. Do I have a white paper? I don't really know what's written on it, but... It helps a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's... Anyway, it's quite purple. And uh, it's got this nice white thing running through it. It looks almost like a candy. So... We'll try that out. I've never worked with this material before. I've made one stem blank, and uh, it drilled beautifully. It, it seems to behave a lot more like vulcanite. Uh, it's not vulcanite, but <clears throat> acrylic is funny in how it machines uh, compared to vulcanite. It's not funny, it's just different. Uh, and this was more similar to vulcanite than to acrylic, so that was kind of nice. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it, see how it files and sands, which is really the key thing when you're making stems. So hopefully they'll be done in the near future. I don't know how much work I'm going to get done today because I do just kind of want to disconnect today, but we'll see. Uh, and that's my plan. So we'll see how the day goes. At any rate, I'm babbling now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my rant. I don't often do that, but I just got the stars aligned this morning, and I, I decided to pop my cork. With that, guys, I'm going to call this to an end. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday, and are looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.